It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. In the beginning, the earth was without form and void. But the sun shone upon the sleeping earth, and deep inside the brittle crust, massive forces waited to be unleashed. Seas parted and great continents were formed. Mountains arose. Earthquakes spawned massive tidal waves. Volcanoes erupted and spewed forth fiery lava. And charged the atmosphere with strange gases. Into this swirling maelstrom of fire and air and water, the first stirrings of life appeared. Tiny organisms, cells and amoeba, clinging to tiny sheltered habitats. But the seeds of life grew, and strengthened, and spread, and diversified, and prospered. And soon, every continent and climate teemed with life. And with life came instinct and specialization, natural selection, reptiles, dinosaurs, and mammals. And finally, there evolved a species known as man. And there appeared the first faint glimmers of intelligence. The fruits of intelligence were many: fire, tools, and weapons; the hunt, farming, and the sharing of food; the family, the village, and the tribe. Now, it required but one more ingredient: a great leader to unite the quarreling tribes, to harness the power of the land, to build a legacy. That would stand the test of time. A civilization. The designer knows he has achieved perfection, not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. <laughs>